So you so that was a headbutt. Oh, is that accidentally? That accidentally, yeah, accidentally without a doubt. I went in to stop it because of the way he went down, but then he turned around right away and started fighting back. So right, then I let right, it go. Right. You can see I went in to stop it. Yeah, yeah. But like I said, he immediately started fighting back. I'm like, well, maybe it looked bad, looked worse also, to me than it really was. I don't know. Also, That's why I went like that for you guys to take a look at it. For, okay. for, 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 me, for me, here's what I want to do. Let's say, if you don't feel right about it, if you don't feel right about it, it can be a no contest because you, you could call it a sequence caused by a clash of heads. Right. Because that illegal strike Mr. is what brought that young man dead. Right. And so that's fucked up for everybody, but it's maybe but it's more right, what for the you, future. Yeah, what can you sleep with? Well, All right, so you heard Herb Dean. He was trying to kind of whisper, but the mic'd up, so the, the light was on, so the review was happening. Um, the commission turned the light on and put it on the edge of the octagon, and that is the signal that they are going to look at the replay, and the fight could continue, but I think in this case, because we had a tap out, you're not gonna get a fight continuing. I think the only thing they were discussing is whether to call it a victory for Kyle Dawkins or a no contest. And you heard Herb Dean tell Dan Mergliata that if you don't feel good about it, you could call it a no contest, but then he said maybe just for the future. Dan Mergliata, the referee, and Herb Dean, the review official, are both looking at the replay right now, along with the Nevada State Athletic Commission. See if they speak up. Mergliata is mic'd up as the referee in charge, and he will ultimately have the final say as the referee in charge. To be and have such a bad deal affect the outcome of the fight, but the reality is, can't take anything away from Dawkins. Dawkins he went and right. got the finish at the end, but that whole sequence started off of the, a very bad clash of heads mm -hmm. that affected the whole fight. And honestly, if they call it a no contest, that's best case scenario, right? Then you redo it, I guess. But reality is that was a that was one of the bad ones because you can see his eyes roll back in his head immediately. Fell forward. Fell yeah, forward. he went forward. Yeah. And generally, when you see a fighter fall forward, then it's over. When you see a fall, when you see somebody fall forward, fights over. Yeah. Fitzy. And Mergliata said he was going to step in and call the fight because of the way that Kevin Holland fell, but he was so quick to fight back that he let the action continue. Mark Ratner, our uh, man of regulatory affairs and inducted into the UFC Hall of Fame just last week, has told us that it is on Dan Mergliata to look at all the footage. He's obviously consulting with Herb Dean yeah. and other Nevada State Athletic Commission people, but it will be Dan Mergliata's decision to determine if it's a victory or a no contest. It, it, it's very unfortunate. But you got to feel for Kyle Dawkins. Even oh. if he gets the win, it's, he doesn't want it like this. No, right? he doesn't. And you got to feel for Kevin Holland. Yes. But Dawkins got headbutted too. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, Holland took the brunt of it, right? Because they came together, he took it on the side of his head. If, if we could see it again, uh, he takes it on the side of the head, goes forward, and then he's just severely compromised uh, the rest of the fight. But right here, watch. As they come together, look at that. See that? Yeah. Holland takes it right on the side of the chin. Yeah. That's like taking right. the hardest the punch you've ever taken sure. top of the head of Dawkins. And then Mergliata goes in there like yeah. he wants to stop the fight. Holland starts fighting the back. But then he kind of rolls the finger like, hey, we need to review this because yep. it looked odd. And you saw Sean Shelby immediately go up there and start talking to the guys. But look at this. They're oh. going forward. He's out. Yeah, he's out. Falls forward. Yeah. All right, so Dan Mergliata is in. We gotta do it back then. Are you down for that? I think we're gonna get a win for, for Kyle Dawkins. You guys down for that? As soon as they say we can put us on another card, I'm down for that. I don't, I don't you know. Hey, man. 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 We're doing all kinds of shit, bro. So there you have it. Hey, get a front. Get a front. Get a front. What are you doing? We're running back. You know, we can have to throw that fucking head No, you're back. Sorry, sorry. All right, so. You got him. Bruce, did you get him? No. You felt it with me, huh? Bruce Buffer is in there. Good to see them smiling. Here's the official result. Ladies and gentlemen, after review of this fight, due to an accidental headbutt, Dan Mergliato has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 43 seconds of the first round. This fight is declared a no contest. Okay, so it is a no contest. Apologies, I thought they were gonna call it a win, but ultimately they review the footage. Maybe we do the same part of 
thing. What's that? I honestly believe it's the right thing, right? I, I think when something like that happens, it's a yeah. no contest because regardless of what happened afterwards, an illegal blow started the whole sequence yes. that led to the finish. Right. And it's hard to reward somebody for that. Not Kyle Dawkins' yes. fault. Right. Not his fault at all. He did what he should do as a fighter. But it just it just seems it, it, it seems like the right thing was done tonight. You know, and right. very rarely do we agree, but that was good. That was great by by, by the, the referees and the officials. Right. And great on Dan Mergliano for actually acknowledging essentially that he had made a mistake and he went and he fixed it. 